Okay, so now you just want to measure your shirt and see where you want your design at. So you don't want it all the way up at the neck of the shirt, so don't start there because that's not where you're going to put it at. You're going to always put it a few inches down. Let's just be precise and say at least two and a half inches away from the collar of the shirt is where you want to start your design. Between two and two and a half, whatever you think looks best. But I'm going to probably do it about two and a half. Two, and you don't want to go all the way to the bottom of the shirt. So we're going to say about 15 in the front. Probably about two. Two inches. Let's say this. That's good. So let's say about two inches. Okay, two inches away from the collar is where you want to start and then maybe about two inches away from the thing so it's about 17 so 17 inches long and then your width is gonna be my nails are all messed up okay 14 so 14 and 17 17 and 14 okay so we're going to be doing the exact same thing as we did with the shirt. We are going to do with this skirt. We are going to measure it. Measure, 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 measure twice. Measure 15 times. As long as you don't print it without measuring, you are fine. But you have to measure. So um, this little girl is graduating the fifth grade. I think what I'm going to do instead of putting fifth grade on it, I'm just going to put her name. So her name is Jacelyn. So we're going to put um, Jacelyn class of... 2020 2022 hold on jacelyn class of 2022 yeah jacelyn class of 20 2022 i guess <laughs> i don't know hold on i'm trying to figure out where i should start is this the back or the front? That's the front. Okay. So, the room that we have here is about eight long. Really eight and a half, depending on how far you want to go up. Um, I'm going to do eight and a half by two. Mm. Maybe two and a half, eight and a half by four, small up here. Eight and a half by two. If we go a little over two, I'm not mad about that. So what you're going to do on here is you're going to make a box. Your box, you make a box right here. And you drag it out 17 by... 15 so i just drag it to this and you go to your arrow and then you can change your width right up here so we already know the width is 15 that's what we just measured so 15 then enter and then the height is gonna be 17 enter so you see how big my box just got and just so that y'all can see that i'm gonna come up here Change the box color to, oh, uh, let's see. It's red right now. Let's just do black. And then I'm going to come over here and do 15. There, it makes it bigger. And then I'm going to zoom out. Okay, so this is the box. This is my shirt. Is my shirt 17 by 15. Let's move everything that isn't the shirt out of the box. Now, my cutting space is only 12 by 24. So, just a little bit. Okay. So, if I come over here, right here, you have to follow my arrow to my paper setup. And I'm going to move this over so that it can all be right here. So, right now, my paper is at 8.5 by 11. So, I can cut 12 by 24. So, that's as big as I can cut, okay? So, how do we get this to match what we can cut at? Easy. 
So we're gonna fit my whole design in this box. So I'm just gonna stretch it. Stretch my design in the box. So as y'all can see, the bottom of the design is touching it. So I'm gonna move my box a little bit to make it fit directly in the box. So that's about as big as we want it. Now we can make it a little wider if you choose to. You can make it a little wider. Mm. I think it's good though. Move it over. Yeah, that's good. So that's fitting pretty much pretty good in the box. So that's what we want. So I can take my box away now. You don't have to delete it. You can just put it over to the corner. <laughs> so now I have all these different pieces. Now each piece is going to be a different color. So I normally don't do this. But since I'm doing a video on it. I'm going to show you how I separate my colors. Just by making the color of this different. But this color doesn't have to be different. Because you're going to cut it on a specific type of color. So... Whatever your colors are going to be. So for this particular project, my colors are yellow, blue, and white. On the shirt, this part of it, I'm not even going to do um, white because the shirt is white. But on the skirt, I am going to do white. So, yeah. So this is going to be yellow. I'm going to put everything that I'm going to make yellow. Yellow. All I'm doing is coming over here. If you don't use Silhouette Studio, you need to get Silhouette Studio, okay? And you need to just play with it because I go kind of fast. But you need to just play with the program because it's bomb, okay? But to change the colors, you'll just click on whatever you want to change. Come up here to this box. Right now, it has like, uh, like little uh, squares all in it. And... You're going to change it to whatever color you want. So all of these things in my design is going to be yellow. Um, I think I'm going to do this hat in blue. And then the 2022, we're going to do, come on, in yellow. And then all my back stuff is going to be blue. It's actually like a royal blue, but like I said, this does not matter. I'm just showing y'all how it's done. So that's what the whole thing is going to look like. So we're going to cut all of our yellow together and all of our blue together. But before we cut this, we're going to go ahead and make the design for the skirt so that we can just cut everything all the way together. So let me get my skirt. Okay, so I already wrote this out. I was going to try to skip this part since I had already showed y'all how to do it with this. But there, I am doing this a little bit different. So I just kind of want to go over it because I know everybody's not super familiar with uh, Silhouette Studio. And maybe I'll do like a YouTube where I just um, do like the basics of Silhouette Studio. Um, if you want that video, comment below. Let me know because I might just do that whenever I get some time. I'll be doing orders, so I don't really have time to do, like, a whole basics. But I think I can go over, like, what everything means and all of that stuff. So, anywho. Um, but I am going to show you this part. So, um, as you already know, you use this to make your letter. So, you click on that. Click here. Type whatever you want to type. Then you come over here on the other side of the screen. And you have all your fonts. Again, fonts have to be downloaded. You can download fonts from thefont.com. 100% of my fonts came from thefont.com. So, definitely um, use thefont.com. If you find another one, let me know. Put it down in the comments. Okay. So, I already know what fonts I'm already going to use because I'm going to use the same thing that I used here. So, for Jacelyn in class of, I'm going to use the gemstone font. And then for 2022, I'm going to use the blow brush blow blow brush fine okay so i'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bigger because we don't need this anymore so i'm gonna close that out i don't need that so i'm gonna make this a tad bit bigger just so that we can see it
it's a little hard to see, but can y'all see the 22? Okay. It's a better angle like this, so I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, so I'm gonna come back over here to my square, and I'm gonna make this the size of the pleat on the skirt. So we already said that that was eight and a half, so eight and a half is the height. So I'm gonna come up here to height. Stay with me, y'all, I'm right here. I'm gonna come up to height and do 8.5. And then, okay, so I'm making this box the same size as my pleat on my skirt. So, if you've been following along, then you know that the pleat was seven, and I'm coming up here. No, it wasn't. It was eight and a half. So, 8.5, and the width was two. It wasn't two and a half, but we can go a little bit over the two because it was kind of like 2.35, something like that. So we can go a little bit over the two, but you could judge it your best way. <laughs> if you feel like you shouldn't go over, then don't go over. But um, this is my second one. So I did go over on the last one. So hopefully it works good this time too. If not, my YouTube video messed up. Anyway, okay, so... With these two here, so since I am going to make these go downwards, we got to do a little, do it a little bit differently. So I'm going to select both words. I'm right-clicking, okay? When you right-click, it brings up this beautiful uh, menu right here. And you're going to go to ungroup. This makes each of these letters one letter. So if you click off of it, you can move this letter wherever you want it to move, okay? So I'm going to put this right here. And we're going to take all of the letters and just move them right up under each other. I think it's, I'm using my arrows just to inch it up just a little bit more so that it's close to each other. And then I'm going to select both of those and inch them up just a little bit with my arrows, just my little key arrows here. With my arrows going up towards the class. Okay, so class of, as y'all can see, I'm going to zoom out just so that we can zoom out just so that we see the whole thing then i'm going to select each letter of this i'm going to right click again it pulls up that same thing and then i'm just going to hit group so that makes it all one word now we know we don't need it this long because it has to be this long so we have to make it fit inside of this box so i'm going to do that by zooming in a little bit a whole lot of and I'm gonna take this middle one and I'm just gonna make it smaller bring it up to where we can see it and make it smaller where's my box at let's get my box from over here And I'm going to ungroup this one more time because I think that the class and of is too close together. It looks like one word instead of two. So I'm going to take my of and move it right on down a little bit. And take my class. Make it a little longer because I'm going to move it up. Y'all see where the top of my box is at, right? right like right there. Move it up and pull it down just a tad bit. I'm really not trying to do that. I'm trying to move it down with this little dot right there. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to group. Actually, I'm going to group. I don't need this box any longer. Let me move that and group these together. So right-click, group. 
I really don't want to make this video super duper quadruple long, but anyhow. Spread these letters out a little bit. Give it a little width to it so it can fit in my box. I'm sorry, y'all. I keep playing with this, but this is not even. This these this of is over too far. It needs to be like right there. Okay, group. Move this out the way. And then we're just gonna group all of it. Group. Okay. So it fits in my little space that I need. Now I need to do the same thing with Jason. So um, you're going to repeat the same thing. I'm not going to do this on camera because I feel like it just takes too long and it's making the video longer than it has to be. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing with Jacelyn. I'm going to make my numbers. I'm going to make them larger and make them fit inside the box. Um, each number needs to fit inside the box individually. So you have to ungroup it to make sure that each number fits inside the box. Um, as you can see, I'm going to have to make these bigger, much, much bigger. It don't matter, though, because these letters look, these numbers look good big. I like them, at least. Um, so, I think that's about big enough. It doesn't have to match the class of, because it won't. These words are just too, too small. Um... I mean, too long. I can probably do it a little bit more. Maybe like seven and a half. Yeah, that'll work. So, yes. So, all my, um, the skirt is blue. So, I'm going to do the words in yellow. And I'm going to do the outline in white because the shirt's white to make it all tied together. So, um, all these will be yellow. I told you I just do this just to let y'all know what I'm doing. Um, but I'm going to do an offset on these. And the way you do the offset, I already did this, but you come over to this star. It looks like a star outline thing. It pops up this cute little box. And you just hit offset. And it gives you an offset. You could change the size of your offset and all of those things. But yes, it just gives you an offset. Um, I'm actually going to delete this offset because it's going to put them all together and I don't want them together. See how I put it together? I don't want that. So I'm gonna back that up again. Back again. Anytime you mess up, you hit that back button and you'll be straight. Okay, so I'm gonna try to shorten this video. So I'm gonna do this part and then I'll come back before I print. Boom. Okay, so here's all of my stuff. This, of course, is going to be white, yellow, blue, and so forth. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut my yellow first just because that's the most of the stuff that I have is in yellow. So, um, for this first one, it's too long for the page. So, I'm going to flip horizontally. Why am I flipping it horizontally? Because you have to have everything flipped in order to cut it correctly, okay? So, flip it horizontally. And then I'm going to take this little green thing. And I'm going to make it fit my page. So, I'm just going to turn it around the other way. I'm going to do the same thing with everything else that does not fit the page. So, it's just going to probably be this one. I'm going to go ahead and flip horizontally. And then I'm going to make it fit the page. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, so this, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, it doesn't fit right there. This will, though. So, we can just put Jason right there. And then class of, we can put right here. But you have to remember to 
flip everything. So flip it horizontally. Only thing I'm doing is right click and it pops up that box. We already talked about that. Same thing with the uh, numbers. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them. Flip them horizontally. And then I'm just going to put them on my white paper here. Or should I say my design area. My cutting area is what we're doing. we cutting. So my cutting area. I'll get this whole little talking and teaching thing down in a second. Okay. So that is not all of our yellow stuff. <laughs> I forgot about the fifth. So the fifth and the 2022, I'm going to select both of these images and flip them and then just fit them right in here put that five right there 2022 make sure that everything fits if it does not fit just cut it on another paper but i think all of it fits pretty good so now we're just ready to cut it so you're gonna come over to send i'm using glitter htv so first thing you're going to do is come over here to your board and select everything that you want to cut. And y'all see at the bottom here, it cut it off. So let's go back to design. And we're just going to have to cut these separately. So let's just take these two off of her. And we're going to cut those separately because they don't fit on there. I want to make sure that nothing is getting cut off. Matter of fact, I'm just going to move all of this stuff down with my little arrow here. Just going to move all of that down just so we don't have no hiccups. So, go back to send. And then select everything, even though it's already red normally. Select everything and then come to, you see it says cut edge. That's not what you're going to do. You want to cut and then you want to go to your heat transfer glitter. Your action is going to be cut. And your tool is going to be the auto blade. Now that puts your force on 33 and your speed on 5. We're going to speed it up a little bit to about 22. And I'm going to put this on 4. You don't have to do this. It will still work if you don't. I just like to have it on four because I feel like it cuts and it's easier for me to pull out. So, those are the settings that I use for my silhouette and I have a four. So, and then I got to connect my silhouette, which is not turned on. So, let's go do that. Don't just never mind my mess. It cuts on right here on the side. And this is what it looks like when it cuts on. So, I'm going to get my mat. And y'all don't laugh at my mats because my mats are old and I never change them. I've been having the same mats since I had my machine. My daughter wrote on it. But it's okay because it works. So that's all that matters. So we get yellow. And I bought some new yellow from the vinyl store. I think that's not it. It's probably in here. All right, let me get my yellow out. Okay, so my yellow... I know it looks white, but it's yellow. My yellow is loaded. Everybody knows if you didn't know, now you know that you have to cut HTV on the back side. Okay, so I'm cutting on the back. That's why it looks white. It is loaded into the machine and it is ready to go. I probably should have showed how I loaded it. I hope y'all know how to load it here. All y'all do is press this button here. It's not oh, it's not there anymore because it's already loaded, but uh, it's an arrow going facing that way. So you say you do it there, and then you use these arrows to like make it move up a little bit more or make it move back. So I always push it up to where it's right up under my needle. Push it up, and it's right above my needle, and it is ready to go. All right. So we're going to come back over here. And we have to find our prayer. So it's on Bluetooth, I believe. I cut my Bluetooth on. It should already be on. I'm going to select the Bluetooth one. Let me make sure it's on. Yes, the Bluetooth is on. So it should be connecting. There it goes. 
sinking. There it goes. And it is ready. Okay, so everything is ready and ready to cut. All I have to do is press send and it's going to pop up. It says heat transfer designs often need to be mirrored, which is true. Do you wish to sign to send the design mirrored or send it as is displayed on the screen? Now, as you can see displayed on my screen, everything has already been flipped. So that means that it will cut exactly how I want it to cut. Now, if you do not flip it here and you flip it here, it is going to flip everything the opposite way and print everything on the opposite side of the page that sometimes will cause errors with you cutting things off and stuff like that. So if you've been having that problem, that's why you're doing that. You need to flip it before you actually send it to here. So since it's already flipped, I'm going to go to send as is and it is going to begin cutting. I don't know if you can hear it cutting. So we're going to do that for this here. We're going to do that for the yellow. We're going to do that for the blue. Blue should be pretty easy. You just select all your stuff and flip it horizontally. And then that shouldn't be there. And then the same thing with the white. Select everything and flip it horizontally. Because you have to mirror everything as we already talked about. This is already mirrored. We're going to have to recut that. But basically, it's the same exact thing. I'm going to put the white on the paper, which I have a row of white. So, I'll be cutting like a little piece off. Matter of fact, let me get that ready. Okay, so this is my row of white vinyl. I got this from 143vinyl.com. They're actually here in Kentucky, and I can go pick up my stuff, so I picked this up and this one. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut a piece of this out. I don't need much because I didn't, um, I don't need that much white, but this is the white glitter. I love glitter. I love, love, love glitter. It's probably majority of the vinyl that I buy is glitter, but I love glitter. Now, to exactly know what you need to cut it at, you need to look on your screen and figure out how long your design is, but since I know it's not that big, I'm going to get this piece. And then I'm going to load it on my paper backwards. So this is the glitter part. This, the glitter part goes on the mat. So I'm loading my mat. The mat's sticky, by the way, for those who's never dealt with a mat. It's just kind of sticky. If you lose the stickiness to it, you can spray like a sticky spray on there and it'll start sticking again. You can clean them with awesome spray. I learned that from a friend. I didn't know why my my, my my thing was messed up. They can be clean. But you just follow, you just put it right at the top and make sure it follows the line. This is a piece of tape. Okay, so my yellow has been cooked. So my yellow's cut, so I'm going to load in the next color. I got stuff right here. Hold on. Okay, so I'm just going to press this to unload the paper and it drops out so you gotta be ready to catch it y'all see i got my hand right here ready to catch it so i press this button here okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and load my next piece so i'm gonna put that in there i press the arrow face it up it takes it just a little bit and it holds it but then these arrows here you can pull it up a little bit more i like to have it all the way up to where i know i won't miss my sheet so Pull it up just a tad bit. 
that should be that should be good and i'm gonna go over back to my computer and print the rest of it oh okay so we got all of this cut we can move that over and we're gonna get all of our white so we got class uh, and we already flipped all of these things, so we don't have to do that again. Um, 2022. Make sure your stuff is not touching. You don't want it to overlap and all of that stuff. And I'm actually going to make these zeros sideways because it'll take up less space. Now, let me see how big this is, because it says 13, and I think the paper that I print is not, I mean, that I cut is not 13. See, this is why you should measure first, because I showed it, and I don't think I cut 13. And this paper ends at 12, so that's actually going to run off of the paper unless I do it a different way. Let's see. What if I take these two down here, put this up here with the rest of them. It's a little shorter, but it might fall off the paper. We just gonna have to see. Same settings. Cut. Everything should be the same, but this part always goes to cut edge. So, just change it to cut. Send as is. should be pretty easy because everything's pretty big um this looks like there's been a mistake so we're about to see what gonna happen here yeah it cut off the two so we don't have to recut this <laughs> it cut off everything at the bottom of this page don't ask me why Be careful not to pull stuff off that ain't supposed to be pulled off. Thinking that you got it.
Okay, so now we gotta peel out the small parts. Now, as y'all can see, this 2022 messed up, so I'll do that off camera and bring it together somehow because I'm not about to cut that right at this second. So I'm gonna cut it on off and throw it away. Okay, so you're gonna get your Zacto knife and you're just gonna pull out the pieces that come out. You should be able to see them, especially on this particular color glitter. Now it's easy to use, um, it's better to use a light. I got a light behind me. It's better to use a light, especially with the dark colors when you can't see what you're pulling out. But this is, this is pretty easy. This color is, at least. Now, the blue might be a little difficult, but we'll see when we get there. Okay, and I'm going to cut these pieces apart because they don't need to be together. I'll probably cut it down some more. When I get it to the press machine, I always end up cutting it down a little bit more. I'm gonna try to save a little piece of this. We might need it later. I don't throw no scraps away because them scraps can be for a baby shirt or something. Now this doesn't have to be peeled out because it's just the outline. So that's cool. Now, this is the piece I messed up.
That shirt gonna work, the one that uh, you see where it's dirty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reposting my shit, even JR posting my shit. You don't know who posting my shit. Who don't post your shit? shit. Just, oh, you said JR. I thought you said I don't post your shit. Why'd you just post it? Oh, I'm sorry, you came to me like I don't post your shit. I ain't never said you post nothing in my mind. Cause I didn't ask you. If you don't at me, it didn't happen. The fuck. You know Shelby's uh, son goes to Michael's school. Shelby's girlfriend's son, Ray. You didn't know Ray went to Michael's school, did you? This national school the new day. They just made that shit the fuck up. Some nigga on the news today made that shit the fuck up. Ray, you know this national school the new day. I should probably walk this one day. Oh, really? Well, I mean, just for today. Gray, grab, boom, 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 boom. That's how it's gonna look. All right, let's do a skirt. It's the National Brothers Day. It's the National Scavenger Day. They just making up shit. This is the actual one, Google. Somebody made up the word. Must it must be the hood day. The hood count is different from the regular count. Boy. No, this little girl is going to the sixth grade. Sixth grade? She wants to get her little bed for a sixth grade. She the same size as this boy.
Beyonce, Beyonce, y'all, let me grill, boy. Oh, oh. Hey. All this money can't be mad about it. You see me smiling, don't be mad at it. Look at me, look at me. And the fella can't make me fancy. Smile for a whole nother reason. All smiles do, all four seasons. Oh, baby, baby. She was, I didn't talk to her. She was kind of bratty today. All Michael's little girls who've been talking on the phone with him and I guess been seeing her. They was like, there's Bailey. There's Bailey, Bailey. Look at Bailey. Bailey made all the attention. Okay, so I have to go cut these last couple pieces and then we're going to go ahead and press. Okay, so this view isn't like the best view in the world, but I don't know any other ways to like do it without um, having to hold the camera. So I can show y'all like this is what it looks like now. It hasn't been pressed, so these come up, but I just like to show, look at it, how it's supposed to go. Um, when you're layering vinyl, you just basically press it on top of each other. Um, super easy. You just gotta press your first color first and then the second color second. So, we are gonna start here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. I know that this view is not like the best in the world, but I'm sorry. And my press machine, like, is super hot. I have it on 350 right now. Um, I'll probably do, um, 350 for 30 seconds on each thing if i go over that or under that i'll let you know and i'll let you know why sometimes you do go over it or under it because it won't stick or whatever the case but most of the time 350 for 30 seconds is gonna be fine that normally works i'm just cutting some of this um plastic off just so that my Design can fit together like I wanted to without touching. Um, okay, I'm gonna look at this shirt this way just to make sure that it's even. This grad down here is looking a little off. Let me cut this more. Okay, I think that's perfect, y'all. So I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm turning it sideways so that my press machine, which is 16 by 20, can just press the whole thing at once and I don't have to like do double presses. But if your press machine isn't that big or whatever the case, just do a double press, make sure you press it down how it goes. Okay, so here we go. So you do this for 30 seconds. Okay, so that was 30 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and peel it. You can peel it while it's high, or you can wait for it to cool down. 
It's up to you. It's not going to really matter which one, though. Okay, so that's your first color. Now we're just going to go ahead and do the second color. So it's, we're just going to place it on there exactly how you want it and press it. I mean, it's super duper easy. I know that layering, um, I actually think a lot of people asking about layering vinyl and it's so easy, y'all. Just going to double press Okay, now we're just gonna press this for 30 seconds and our shirt's gonna be done. If I'm gonna be doing YouTube videos and shit, I need to, uh, I need to clean my purse machine. Are you still on live? I'm not on live. No, where are you I'm making a YouTube video. Okay, okay. All right, 30 seconds. Pull off your plastic pieces. Fifth grade Gorea in the house, in the, his ass. Okay. So this is the shirt. I know it looks backwards, but that's only because my camera's flipped. I'm using my cell phone, so yeah. I'll show y'all the whole thing after we get done. That's gonna make my purse machine go. Don't worry about it. I'm done. You want me to unplug it? No, the microwave. Yeah, you don't need Okay, so this little skirt needs to be pressed before I even press anything on it because it just came really wrinkled. Um, don't know why the other one that I ordered didn't come wrinkled. And that was the best one for us. It's probably other people out there. Well, call Michael. Okay, so this this came really super duper wrinkled. The other one that I ordered didn't. I don't know if it's because this one's bigger or what. But I'm going to try to press these pleats so where they pleating and not depleting. In my head, that was funny. Okay. So I'm just about to... That's what I needed to look like, you guys. Okay, so I had to press the little pleats in it because, like I said, they wasn't really pleating like I wanted them to. Um, now, on this part, you can choose how you want to press it. 
Um, I'm probably gonna press everything separately. I feel like that's the best way to make sure that everything is on where it's, is it, it's where it's supposed to be and it's how it's supposed to be. Um, so, I guess at the end of the day, it's up to you how you want to do it, but that's how I'm going to do it. For me to work. How are you want to spill stuff, son? No. Today, me and Drake ain't That's the problem now. Well, you get big cups like that. But... That cup's not even big. Mommy. Look at that. It's a regular cup. Are you going to cut our voices out the video? Mm -hmm. Are you going to cut our voices out the video? Some fruits. F R U I T A. F R U I T. Yeah, I do. Oh, you can eat some F R U I T S. Mm -hmm. 